Good morning, this is Christina with the Sisyphean Journal. Today's June 1st, and I'm gonna kind of look at a racial divide that continues to exist to this day. Um, on June 1st of 1926, Willie Pearl Walker, a, an 18 year old black homemaker who had, had been born in Georgia, died at her Chicago home from complications of a criminal abortion performed that day. Now, in the Homicide in Chicago Interactive Database, a Dr. Thomas N J. New was held by the coroner in Willie Pearl's death. I have never found evidence that a Dr. Thomas J. New existed in Chicago. However, there was an abortionist named Thomas Ney, N-E-Y, so I think that was a transcription error. A little over two years after Willie Pearl's death, Ney was implicated in the abortion death of Eunice McElroy, and then later, um, he was implicated in the 1931 abortion death of Alma Bromps. And there was a lot of press coverage about the deaths of those two white women, but I haven't found anything outside the Homicide in Chicago interactive database about Willie Pearl. And that kind of reminds me of the current day. The last abortion death that really seemed to get voluntary national coverage and a lot of national coverage was Holly Patterson, who died of toxic shock syndrome during an RU486 abortion. Blonde haired, blue eyed, white girl. Even the women that were killed by um, Kermit Gosnell, one a black woman, one um, a Bhutanese woman, didn't get nearly the amount of coverage that that blonde-haired, blue-eyed, white girl got. There have been case after case after case after case of black women dying, and they don't get the national news coverage that Holly Patterson's death got. And uh, it, it brings me back to when I was working at Life Dynamics. Um, there's a, an abortion death researcher that likes to keep his head down and um, is also Joe, Joe Scheidler in Chicago. And the two of them had a list of abortion deaths, including a big long list in Chicago in the um, 1970s and early 1980s. And at the time when I was working at Life Dynamics, I knew there were so, that there are so many abortion deaths in the Cemetery of Choice that half the time I can't keep them straight because there's, there's just so many. But then I knew every woman's circumstances, when she died, who did the abortion, what the circumstances were. And so we sent off to get copies of the women's death certificates. And they came and I was looking through them. And Mona, whose office was across the hall from mine, came into my office and I was crying. And she asked me what was wrong and I handed her the death certificates. I said, all these women are black. Nobody but us is ever going to care. And, you know, as Antonisha Ross dies, um, Creer Wynne Shepherd, um, Lakisha Wilson, one young black woman after the other, and the only people who care are their families and the pro-lifers. Black Lives Matter doesn't apply to young black women dying in abortion clinics. Sorry, it just doesn't.